everybody so here we are this is gonna have to be broken into two parts because my phone won't handle a 10 minute video uh so uh we're about 15 or 20 minutes in on cooking this stuff she's just been standing here stirring as she is doing right in front of you right now uh about 10 minutes in we cut the uh, heat down on medium uh so for about 10 minutes you're going to want to cook it on high and then after that you're going to want to cut it down to medium and it's just barely going to be boiling see how it's just kind of barely boiling and you're just going to want to stand there and just continue stirring now earlier in the video i told you that you are going to need a little tablespoon just like this one and i bet you're probably watching this video or you're not and you're probably going you know, what the hell is that tablespoon for? Well, the tablespoon is so that when it gets to about this point, you notice that it's, you know, 20 minutes in, it's good and thick. Uh, you've added about a bowl and a half of water uh, throughout the whole time. The consistency has stayed the same, and it's, uh, it's more yellow than it is white now. Uh, you're going to take your spoon here, actually, Rachel will, and you're going to get a little bitty scoop of it like that, and... And that's what this guy right here is for, actually, because uh, she blows it off. A little, a little more. I'm stirring still. Hmm. That's pretty doggone good. Give me a spoon. Okay. That's pretty doggone good, man. Yeah. It's no, getting there. Oh yeah, a different spoon, so that you don't uh. Done. Oh, that's done. And done. So we're there. So now you're probably going to cut your heat off. Yes. Continue to stir. Not that bowl. We got a bowl. We actually have a bowl that's already done. I'll bring it in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a big deep bowl this is from our this is the batch from earlier it's how nice and yellow that looks you're gonna take your big deep bowl like this one right here and you're just gonna dump your corn straight off in there scrape okay. everything out clean as you go you can never forget to clean as you go all right i'll still have a big mess at the end This is from about how many how many corn years did you say we shucked? 40? I don't know, probably forty years of corn, and we have a big, huge, full bowl. Now this stuff right here, you put in uh, gallon Ziploc freezer bags. Let it cool. Let it cool before you do so. Uh, put it in gallon Ziploc freezer bags, and you can freeze the stuff. Roll and then, it. Sorry, roll it up really tight, like it's like you're gonna vacuum seal it. Roll it up, roll it up. Then close the Ziploc bag. When you pull it up, all the air is going. You can roll it back up. Put it on a paper plate inside your freezer if you have the racks with the holes in it. Otherwise, when you go to take it out, you're going to be fighting with your freezer and you're going to bust the bag because it sinks down in the hole. All right, guys. So uh, that's it, man. That's how to make cream corn the country way with bacon grease. Now you fuckers can quit, uh, you know, begging us to give you food uh, <laughs> because my wife knows how to cook. And uh, love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. We will be doing more. Say bye, Rachel. Bye, Rachel. Hey, you guys have a good one. Take it easy.